Hello students, welcome back to art class. Right now I have a finished document open. This is the color wheel. I sent you that. If you haven't opened that in Google Classroom, please do that now. So this is the finished target of what we're going to do. We're going to quickly review color study and we're going to use the color wheel as our an example. Here's our finished piece. I'm going to skip ahead to one that is not complete. So you, like me, you're going to make those edits and get to a final piece. So let's try and work along together. So let's start here at 12 o'clock high. If you remember, that was red, if you just saw that. So we're going to click on that, and that's going to bring up a, a toolbar. We're going to choose edit. We're going to choose the circle. And now it's going to allow us to paint can or color fill. We're going to color fill that with red. Save and close. It's as easy as that. Very simple. So now we're going to move on to the next primary color. I'm sure some of you thought, oh, red, that's a primary color. That's probably why we're starting there. So we're going to move clockwise around. And we're going to go down here to the one that's sitting at 4 o'clock. And we're going to choose that. And we're going to make that yellow. So we're going to click it, edit, click it, paint can. There's our yellow. Let's grab it. Done. So the last and final primary, the last and final primary, skip one, two, three. The final one, of course, is blue. So let's dump blue in there. I like that one, that's very intense. Very bright, very blue. The quintessential blue, perfect. So now we're gonna move on to the second set of colors. So the primaries are the basis. Those are the colors that you use that you just can't mix them. If you run out of red, you need to mine more minerals or you need to go to the store and buy red. I always go to the store and buy red. So next, we're going to move on to the second set. That's a combination of the two primaries. The halfway split is the halfway between yellow and red here at 1 o'clock. Here at 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, we're going to make that, of course, we're going to make that orange. So let's get in here, do some editing, paint can, and that's labeled orange. Let's take it down here to the bottom halfway between yellow and blue, of course, that's right, it makes green, you know that. And the computer's calling that green. I would think that green would be a little bit of a darker value down here, but we want our green to be the most intense green, so let's go ahead and trust the process. And let's make that, let's make it green. We'll trust their color. And finally, the last secondary, that color has a specific name, and for artists, it is violet. Now, I disagree with Google, and I disagree with Google Docs. They called this color purple over here. I don't really like that. I don't think that's quite right. It should be violet. And when we get into the tertiary colors, the final set here, we'll start to understand why. So here, I think, is where you're going to make your money. I think this is where it gets more interesting. Here, we need to find a very specific color that sits in between here and is a halfway split between red and orange. And it is red-orange. Going to edit edit, paint can. Now, I really don't see that color that I want anywhere here, so I'm going to have to make it. It's somewhere, somewhere in here. Now, if I go too far, I lose contrast between the orange and this red-orange, and I lose contrast between red and red-orange. There's a kind of a perfect balance sitting in between. 
I like that. I'm going to try it. Nah. It seems a little red to me. So I want to go back and maybe just make it a touch more orange. And just trying to slide it. It's one spot. Season close. Now I feel like that has contrast. I can see difference between the red and I can see difference between the orange. The red orange now sits alone. Moving clockwise, the next empty one, the next tertiary color is yellow orange. We're going to edit that. Yellow orange needs to have contrast between yellow and orange. It needs to sit in the middle. Once again, there is not that color, so we need to go down here and make it a custom color. So I'm going to slide that to the right. Sit somewhere in between. Well, that's awfully yellow. I'm not satisfied with that. I'll try that again. Okay. I think that's good right there. Let's try again. Save and close. And I think it does sit somewhere in between those two colors quite nicely. Again, Moving on, you always name the primary first. Halfway split between yellow and green is yellow green. We're going to edit. Custom. Try and find that light yellow, green. That's kind of like neon lime. Sort of a strange color. But I really like it. I think it's really very interesting. So we're moving right along. We're about halfway through now. Let's edit. And that was blue green. I did that really fast. Not a lot of talking. Custom. Needs to fit somewhere between blue and green. I feel like we lost a little value. It's not very dark, but I think I think it'll work. Now these these two to me, this one especially, is really tricky tricky trying to find a spot between blue and violet where it doesn't go too far. Custom color. Maybe it seems a little too blue and not enough violet. Now I do have to use my other colors as a reference to compare. So just move it one step, maybe two steps towards the violet. Let's see how that does. Let's see if that works. I think it's somewhere somewhere in between those two. That one is a really sensitive color. That's probably the most challenging one on the color wheel. Finally, we're gonna get in here and we're going to edit. We're going for that red violet. It's our last and final piece. tricky. And I think it's in there somewhere. So this is what I want you to do for this week. This should be a nice, quick, easy activity for you. Go ahead and go around the color wheel, get them in those correct spots. Make sure you get them in the same spot that I have them around the clock face. If you want to put your name on the top, that would be helpful. 
you know, have a good week. Take care.